This video is about how to use a frequency counter. Um, there are a few ways to measure the frequency from an oscillator. And the first way to do it is to uh, measure the frequency parallel to the tank circuit. That's here. And here I made a small oscillator. This is the coil from the tank circuit and this is the parallel capacitor. But one problem uh, here is that uh, the oscillator stops when you connect your cable to your counter. This cable has a certain cable capacitance and I found on the um, uh, capacitance meter that it is approximately 35 picofarad for one meter coax cable. This cable here. It goes so to the input of the counter. So this can give two problems the cable. In the first place this capacitance from the cable must be added to this capacitor from the tank circuit so the frequency goes down. And the second thing is that it gives a certain damping on the oscillator coil and that means that the oscillation stops. And that's what I want to demonstrate now. Here you see the tank of sorry the oscillator circuit. This is the cable to the oscilloscope and this is the cable to the counter. And uh, there is when I connect the counter input cable to the circuit the oscillation stops. Now I remove the counter cable and there is again oscillation. And when you do this in real you can see that um, all kinds of figures are on the screen, random figures and you don't have a good reading from the frequency. So that's something to take in account when you connect a counter to an oscillator it's possible that the oscillator stops. And the remedy for that uh, could be take another point to measure the frequency, for, in, for, in, uh, for instance at the output, or use a very small coupling capacitor here and connect that to your probe. When you connect a small capacitor here, let's say 5 picofarad or 300 picofarad, um, this depends of course also on the frequency. Uh, you get a more loosely coupled situation and that means that your counter does not damp the coil. Uh, I also tested here, uh, tried to connect the counter directly to this tank circuit, but also here the oscillator stopped. So this was not a good way to uh, measure the frequency from this oscillator. And we also have to take in account that always an oscillator must have a certain minimum level, minimum output level to make the counter work properly. Perhaps that's in the instruction manual from the counter. But this is something to uh, take in account. The cable to your counter can damp the oscillator and can make the circuit to stop. So the remedy could be measure it to frequency at the output from the oscillator, but here we have in fact the same problem. At the output from the oscillator we also need an output capacitor and when this capacitor is too big the oscillator can also stop. So here we also have to do experiments with the capacitor value. The second um, way, uh, by the way this is point two, at the output from the oscillator, that's also what I have told, heavy, cu heavy coupling, 300 picofarad, this is all for short wave, and loosely coupled, uh, something between 5 and 30 picofarad. The second way to find the frequency, that is the way in which we use a so-called pickup coil 
and then we connect uh, a coil to our um, cable from the counter and after that we uh, put the, the signal into the counter and at the same time we look at our oscilloscope. I want to do that test now. I put down the uh, camera for a while. I now connect the pickup coil to the counter. This is the pickup coil. And here you can see that the oscillator oscillates. It's here. And now we connect or we put we uh, move our pickup coil in the direction from the oscillator coil. And um, the best direction is parallel to the coil from the, the oscillator because the electromagnetic field is in that case picked up at the maximum strength. When we measure it in this way, the field uh, is weaker, the field that is uh, that's the input to the counter. And I show now the frequency. I don't know whether this is the real frequency. I think it doesn't work properly, but this is only a demo to show uh, a way to uh, find the frequency from the oscillator. So this is also a way to measure uh, an oscillator frequency with a pickup coil. And when the field is strong, you will get a good reading. I did this um, in the past many times and it worked good. Also here we have to take in account that um, the pickup coil and the cable capacitance work together. So that means that this um, part of the circuit um, is ruled by the, uh, the cable capacitance here, let's say a 35 picofarad, and the value, the inductance value from the coil. So you get a very good reading when um, the inductance, the frequency here and the inductance and capacitance here is equal to the um, inductance and capacitance here because in that case we get an ideal coupling and in that case the resonance frequency uh, is made well visible because the, um, uh, the resonance peak um, is strong. And that means that the maximum energy is transported from the oscillator coil into the pickup coil. So, so you can also make this call tunable by means of a variable um, tuning capacitor. And also here uh, it's an advice to use the oscilloscope to see whether uh, you pick up something. That's always very uh, necessary. And also this part of the circuit uh, makes also is also a part from this circuit. So this capacitance here can also be relevant, and also the value from this coupling capacitor. So you have to find out, do some experiments, till you have a signal on the scope, and you have a good reading on your counter.